In this Playwright tutorial, we are going to see how to parameterize tests in Playwright. So here I will navigate to the VS Code and here I'm creating quickly one spec file called parameterize test.spec.js. So that's it guys. So here I will go to the one of the spec file. So simply I will copy the test and I will add it inside the parameterize test.spec file. So I will delete the stuff which are not required and I will keep only the skeleton of the playwright test. So here I will update the test name as parameterize tests in playwright. So that's it guys. Now let's discuss the manual scenario first. Firstly, we will navigate to the youtube.com. So you need to copy this URL and you need to add it inside the go to method. So already we have added this URL. Then we have to search with keywords. That's it guys. So this is a scenario what we are going to automate it. So here simply we will add the playwright by tester stock. Then we will press the enter from the keyboard. So let's inspect this search text box first. So I will go to the inspect. And if you see here this particular input tag details. So I'm using the placeholder equal to search as the value. So here I'm simply I will copy this search value. And here I'm using the await followed by page dot get by placeholder. And inside this one simply I will add the value as search. So firstly, I will click on the this search text box. Then we will enter the search keywords later. So here I will call to the method called click. And then I will use the same locator. And then I will call to the method called fill. By using the fill, I will enter the search keywords. So here I will say playwright by tester stock. So that's it guys. So once we enter the search keywords, we need to press the enter from the keyboard or you can try to click on the search icon as well. So in my case, I'm pressing the enter from the keyboard. So I'm using the same locator. Then I'm calling to the method, calling to the method called press and inside the press, I'm just entering the enter as the value. That's it guys. Then I will wait for some time. So here I will use the await followed by page. Then I will call to the function called wait for timeout. So here I will specify some milliseconds. So that's it guys. So let's verify this test is working perfectly fine or not. Then we will discuss how to, perf how to perform the parameterization in the playwright. So I will run the test now. So it has navigated to the youtube.com. Then it has entered the search keywords and also it is able to press the enter from the keyboard. And also you can see the results. Our test is getting passed. And here you can see the in the test results tab also our test is working perfectly fine, right? Now let's see how to parameterize tests. So here I'm creating one simple constant array variable. So here I'll say constant. Here I'll say the variable name is const sorry, variable name as test parameters equal to square brackets. I'll say here. And inside the square brackets, I will add the array elements. So here I'll say first one and the second one and the third parameter. The first parameter is playwright by tester stock. And then second time I will say Cypress by tester stock. And third time I will say JavaScript by tester stock. So these are the parameters I'm using. That means these are the parameters I'm creating it so that I can parameterize this particular test. 
so that let's say for the first time this particular test is running so it will search with parameterize sorry it will search with playwright by test test talk first time and when second time it is running same test so it will search with the cypress by test test talk and so on so we have the test data that means we have the test parameters to be passed on to the test is ready now so here we have to use a simple for loop that is a for off loop and here simply i will take the array variable that is the test parameters so simply i'll paste it here that's it guys and then here here i will give the variable name as search keyword so that's it guys so simply i will take this whole test and i will keep inside the for loop so let me format it so once we have the test parameters are ready and after writing the for loop so we have to read this particular test data that is a one by one this for loop will gets the all these parameter values from the array and once this particular variable is having the respective value we have to read this test sorry we have to read the this variable name inside the our line number 15 where we are exactly searching with the keywords right so that's the reason what i will do is so simply here i'm writing dollar and then followed by open flower bracket and close flower bracket so simply i'll take this variable and i'll paste inside the flower brackets that's it guys and also you need to make sure that you are writing this description inside the single quotation so that's it guys once you have written this one so let me check what is the issue it is showing some error over here yeah it is clear now so once you are having the search keyword value inside the test description simply you can use the this particular variable name where you want to use that particular test parameter value guys that's it let me summarize what we have done so far so we have created a simple test where we are uh, navigating to the youtube.com and searching with the keywords and after that we have created the one array that contains the three search keywords and this test data i am passing on to the our test by using the for loop that's it guys it's very simple so same test will be getting executed three times by passing the different sets of test data now let's run the test our test is ready now very first time it should pass the playwright by tester stock in the search text box it has to enter the keyword so it is entering the playwright by tester stock then second time it will search with cypress by tester stock and it is perfectly working fine and this is the third time it should search with javascript by tester stock so that's it guys so it is working as expected so let's open the report and we will check the report and if you see here guys so till this it is the test, ca test case name and at the end you can see the what is the data passed on to this particular test right and here you can see that total count is three and uh, those three automation tests are getting passed and here you can see that different search keywords are passed on to the same test so this is how we can achieve the parameterization in the playwright 